back to Call of Duty Mobile, everybody. Today, we're back, and today, we got some more zombies gameplay in store for y'all, along with some huge zombie news as well that has leaked out with some amazing news for those of y'all that are fans of the traditional survival type of zombie game mode. But before we dive into the new news and new information, this gameplay that you guys are seeing in the background is going to be a continuation of the last Call of Duty Mobile zombies video that we did that had pretty much a lot of information that this video might not necessarily cover. So if you want to know even more about zombies, make sure to check out that video as well. Should be popping up on the screen. Should be able to go to it in the top right hand corner of the YouTube video. So make sure to check it out as we are showing off some more of the Call of Duty Mobile Zombies Alpha gameplay along with some other information that has already been released. But today we got some additional information. And in the background, you guys are going to be seeing some Call of Duty Mobile Zombies Alpha gameplay from back when Zombies was playable in a very early version of Call of Duty Mobile. It is not out yet and we are still waiting for a release date so far. Room around the street is it's going to be coming out around Halloween, but we have not had a concrete confirmation on that. As soon as anything new does come out, I'll make sure to let you guys know. So make sure you guys are subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date for more Call of Duty Mobile news about zombies, about the game in general, and more Call of Duty Mobile streams as well, because we've been beasting, climbing the ranked ranks, and even going new cutting a little bit, so stay tuned. And in the background, you guys are seeing Ray Lagarto's gameplay. If you guys want to go and check out the full video, there will be a link in the description to go and check it out over there. But without further ado, boom, this is the first piece of information that we want to go over that has leaked call of duty mobile upcoming zombie modes and we have five confirmed ones we have missions challenges strikes raids and most importantly of all survival has been confirmed we're gonna be breaking these down one by one so let's get into it first we can see that there are little icons next to each of these we have the missions types of mode which is probably actually the gameplay that you guys are seeing over here in the background right now because there's like a very set structure where there's like nine missions that you need to do in order so that is probably what the mission game mode is after that there's some sort of a challenge game mode which i'm guessing is going to be maybe similar to missions and it gives you a very set objective or something that you got to do after that we also have the strikes game mode which looks like especially with the icon it's targeting some sort of a boss so i wonder if maybe that's going to be like some sort of a like specifically fighting a boss or something maybe some sort of boss battle type game mode if you guys have any ideas for what these might be by the way make sure to let me know in that comment section down below i would love to hear what y'all got to say about that and actually back to the challenge thing if we look at it's like little description that's kind of a place holder right now it says description pve daily single so i think every single day there might be a new type of challenge that we might be able to do to get different rewards in the gameplay there are strikes which just says description pve mp so it sounds like that's going to be some sort of a more multiplayer type game mode and let's move over here to where we have the raids which looks like they are going to be more of a co-op type thing since there are multiple people and also that they are going to be coming out on a weekly basis so instead of the daily challenges it looks like these these are going to be weekly challenges of sorts that are going to be new every week trying to keep things fresh and getting us new types of rewards every week as well and finally the thing that all of us have been wanting for this is a huge point i was touching on in the last episode it is amazing to see it confirmed survival and with the symbol we're seeing to the left of it you can see an infinity sign aka endless survival it also says endless in the description of it this is the zombie experience as we know it they're trying to survive as many rounds as you can on a bunch of iconic zombie maps and we have some confirmation as well from these leaks about some of the maps that we can expect shino numa from world at war is going to be one of the upcoming zombie maps that we can expect this is a timeless classic of a map and i remember back in world at war how big of a deal it was that you were able to literally go outside in shino numa like it was one of the first like mainly outdoor maps that the game saw and the hype was real behind it and it's been a very iconic map so very excited for shino numa but we have even even more than shino numa coming our way as well there's confirmation that nakhder toten the og zombie survival map this is the very first map that ever came out this is going to be within the game as well from what these leaks are saying and then on the right you can also see shangri-la which is a black ops 1 dlc map i wasn't the biggest fan of shangri-la definitely out of these three personally i'm most excited for shino numa because that one is absolutely dope after that probably knock because knocked is 
that's just OG zombies, man. Even just for the nostalgia alone, Noct is iconic. And Shangri-La, I'm definitely still a little bit hyped for. I was never a huge Shangri-La fan. But out of the leaked maps, it is the newest map, just in terms of order. So, I don't know. I'm definitely excited that they are going to be kind of like mixing things up and throwing in all sorts of maps from all sorts of Call of Duty games. And hopefully, eventually, we get every single zombie map ever in here. I think that is, fingers crossed best case situation so let me know which of these three leaked maps you are the most excited for for call of duty mobile zombies which one do you want the most which one do you want first because i don't know if they're maybe going to be releasing like one map at a time or maybe like i i imagine that they're going to release more and more maps since it is a mobile game it's very easy to roll out updates i could definitely see with zombie mode and especially being able to have like tons of maps to choose from i could really see them adding more and more classic maps and i mean they got like four different black ops games to choose from and a couple of other games that also had zombies, but they weren't really as good as Black Ops Zombies, so... Yeah. And if you guys are hyped for the fact that we have Endless confirmed coming to the game from these leaks and some pretty cool maps as well, make sure to smash that like button and let me know in that comment section down below like I'm saying, because, dude... I'm so thankful because I was honestly starting to get a little bit worried that we might not be getting survival because of this gameplay that you guys are seeing in the background that looks like it's more mission focused, but looks like this is going to be only one of the many modes that the zombies game mode is going to have, which is awesome that there's going to be so much variety within it. But next up in terms of the new information and leaks are coming our way, this person over here on Twitter, Stealth Bubble, the person who's been leaking a lot of this stuff uh, at Dark Gold Knights is his Twitter at, was able to dig up the fact that it looks like the classic grief mode from black ops 2 is going to be returning as well and that there is some other sort of game mode too that he wasn't entirely sure about but it looks like that there is going to be grief and another sort of zombie mode making its return and this is where things get a little bit extra juicy we have confirmation that pack a punch is returning but in a little bit of a different way so as you guys are seeing we have the pack a punch machine but it looks like it's within some sort of a game menu, like it's in some sort of a main menu, and yeah. I don't know if this means that we're not gonna be able to pack a punch in the middle of a game and we actually need to upgrade our weapons outside of the game or how this is entirely going to work, but there's this screen that's called the intensify screen that looks like you're gonna be able to upgrade your weapons with a pack punch machine in at the back and at the bottom right hand corner you can see that there's a little symbol that says cp for cod points so it looks like you might actually be able to use cod points to increase the strength of your guns in the zombie mode now this is a little bit weird because like i, I don't know if this is going to be pay to win since you're not really like playing against each other you're playing like with people but it does look like you will be able to use cod points which you can buy to actually upgrade your weapons in some fashion now it doesn't show the stats that get increased or anything like that but it is a pack a punch so i assume that it is going to get strong as a weapon this screen was also leaked which looks like some sort of a abilities tab as well within the zombie mode so i wonder if this might be a byproduct of the pack-a-punch machine and that maybe this is going to be like the abilities that a certain gun has and maybe it'll be similar to the abilities that we see on some of the blue and purple guns within the main multiplayer game or if maybe there are going to be special abilities of you know particular to zombies that are going to be applicable to some of these guns and hopefully this whole intensify thing isn't only through cod points hopefully they also have some way of being able to pack a punch your guns in like with other means you know and honestly at the end of the day hopefully they leave the pack a punch machines actually inside of the maps especially on survival game modes because dude pack a punch machines are too iconic to completely take out of survival and to cap things off here we have from that same leaker a gameplay of him messing around with the ray gun in a private server because he's like playing some sort of a special like debug slash developer version of the game that pretty much lets him like access all the different guns within a development environment this would be used so develop Developers would be able to test and very easily access different guns and different things to like test the game so he was somehow able to get access to this and he's playing within a private server here and showing off what appears to be the ray gun which confirms the fact that the ray gun is going to be coming bless up because if the ray gun wasn't in zombies that would just feel wrong because the ray gun is like the most iconic zombies weapon out there literally it's been in the game since the very first zombies map knock the totten and it was the first ever wonder weapon and dude I, it still just feels iconic man so here he is running around and using it a little bit you guys can also see the icon over at the bottom of the screen where it is like within the loadout and everything but 
there's not actually like a weapon skin for it or anything yet but you can actually see him shooting some of the rays outside of the ray gun and at enemies and kind of seeing him kill the enemies it's kind of weird though because he's shooting right at enemies he doesn't maybe realize that with the ray gun you're supposed to kind of shoot at the ground of enemies because the ray gun has a little bit of that splash damage which is like zombies 101 but uh i dude i cannot wait to get my hands on this ray gun i can't wait to get my hands on this zombies game mode and as awesome as some of the stuff that you guys are seeing in the background is with this whole mission stuff dude give me some of that endless survival man i want to play on shino numa first and foremost i want to get some knocked and i want to get some shangri la those are the three maps that have leaked so far so i don't know if that means that those are going to be the first three ones that we get or if there are more ones in the game files as well but he's probably able to leak these the leaker because they are somewhere within the game files so if these three maps are within the game files already i'm guessing that means that they are the closest to being ready so they might be the first ones that we're getting no confirmation on that but we do have some confirmation from the game files that it's looking like they are coming to the game and like i'm saying let me know which one out of the three you would be most excited for but for me man oh baby i think you guys know what i want I want me a little bit of that Shino Numa, and I want to relive some of those World at War glory days. But with that said, with that done, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this Call of Duty Mobile Zombies video, where we're just giving you guys an update, showing off some more Zombies Alpha gameplay in the background, and just recapping some of the new stuff. As soon as we get more info, I'll be sharing it with you guys as well, because I am incredibly hyped for this Zombies game mode and everything that it's going to bring, especially since it looks like we're going to be getting uh, daily challenges, weekly challenges, and survival game modes. A lot of good stuff has been confirmed within today's video and i'm really excited to get my hands on it so make sure that you guys are subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with more videos like this updating you guys on the zombies as we learn more especially as soon as we learn about a release date any new info that is coming out about zombies new info about call of duty mobile call of duty mobile gameplays about new things unboxings all that type of jazz because your boy is addicted to call of duty mobile zombies and yeah it's a good addiction also trying to keep your eyes out i think we're going to be trying to stream a little bit later today so watch out and make sure you have that notification bell hit so hopefully you get notified when we do go live and maybe try to we're gonna be trying to play a little bit of ranked and try and get our tier up along with going after some more nukes in the last stream we got like back-to-back -back nukes in a couple of games so that was really good hopefully it could happen again and hopefully i see some of y'all in those streams but that's gonna wrap it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching i will talk to you in the next call of duty mobile video see you